if you could inscribe this number, this number that I'm going to show you will enhance your spiritual eye. Your third eye will be open. Your fourth, sixth dimension will be open to see what is working around you. All you need is just to inscribe this number on a white parchment paper or on a white plain A4 paper. This is the number. All you need is to inscribe it. You inscribe this number here and then you also inscribe this one also at the reverse session. Now, all you need is this pen. This is the black pen. You can also use blue colored pen and you need your ruler. You need your ruler and then you need your plain sheet of paper. It's on this plain sheet of paper you inscribe the number or a parchment paper you can find in any spiritual shop. So this is a secret talisman number that enhances your vision and enhances your third eye. It will open it. Now, let's delve into how we are going to write this number as I show you uh, in the session that I'm going into now. I'm going to start doing the practical on how you are going to write it. So I will encourage you to watch the video so that you can get every guide and every instruction. Thank you as we go into the video. Enhancement seal. This seal is to open your inner eyes, to open your third eyes for you to see into the spirit and to know what is going on around you and around other people. If you are um, someone who work and you need to see, you need to see into the spirit. This is one seal, one talisman I want to teach you that you should do. And what you need is very also simple. The item you need to make this talisman are very simple. You don't even need to spend any single um, money to prepare this talisman. And it's very, very powerful. It's very strong. And you will begin to see the result quickly as fast as possible. So what are the things you need? You need, the first thing you need is you need a plain white sheet of paper, an A4 or a parchment paper. If you can go to any spiritual shop, you can get a parchment paper. If you cannot get that, just get a plain white sheet of paper A4 size that you need. That's the very first thing you need. Then you need any color of pen or biro. This is the one I have now. You need that. Then you need your ruler that you need to go and you are also going to use. Then you need uh, a candle, a yellow candle, specifically a yellow candle. So you need that. So you need a yellow candle. And once you have all these things, then you are ready to go. So, what are the things you need? How do you go about writing it? The very first thing is for you to rule your sheet. Make sure it is um, measured. So, I'm doing one centimeter each and I'm going to rule it to ten and a half centimeter. Then, I will also rule this. Once, once I rule it, we are going to give each one um, one and a half, one and a half centimeter. So, this is one. Two, three, four, five, six, and then the seven. Because it's going to be seven. Then this one too. I'm going to rule it. I'm also going to rule this to that same. That same. Rule it. Then I'm going to rule this also to it. That's it. Also going to roll this into it. You need to roll it and you need to make sure it is equal in sizes. So that's now we done it. Then you close it. It's going to form like a square. It's a square shape ruling. So that's it. Now you now make each of them the demarcation. Because you are going to inscribe on each, so that's it. You make it very simple and yet very powerful. You will be glad you did this because you will begin to see your third eyes will be open very clearly. But please, you need to be mature with what you have seen because it's not everything you see you need to proclaim, except you are given. The permission in the spirit 
to do that. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's go gray again. That's it. So you have done you have done the rolling and then the next step is for you to write to write for you to start writing. I'm done writing. Then you cut, you cut it, and then is it done writing it? You can see. Then you turn it over leaf at the reverse side. You now write the word. You now write at the reverse side. You will write the word. You will show me the part of life that you have seen, O oh Lord. Abihami, Salami, Yasamiya, and Lorabli. So you will write it at the back. So you have, now this is it. I've written it. You will show me the path of life that you have seen. Oh Lord, Ariamli, Salami, 
Kasaniya Alorame. So you write it at the reverse side. This is it now. This is it. This is it. And then this is the reverse side. This is it. Can you see? This is it. And then this is the reverse side. So you have written it. And then the next thing after you have written it is for you to now chant and you chant this name 999 times. Arihami, Salami, Yakasaniya, Alurami. 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 So you will chant this holy name of Jehovah 909. You will chant it 99 times. After you are done writing it, you will now chant it 99 times. Then you will open your Bible to Psalm 24 and Psalm 19. You will open your Bible to Psalm 24. You will chant that three times. And then you will open to Psalm 19. You will chant that three times. Then you will now pray. You will say a prayer that Jehovah should open your eyes to see into the spirit. To open your third eyes. Once you have done the prayer, you chant that same holy name. Arihami, Salami, Yakasaniya, Alurami, Ariami, Salami, Yakasaniya, Alurami. You chant it also 99 times again. And then the next thing you need to do is you need to light your yellow candle. You now light your yellow candle. Light it. And then it's this is the yellow candle, you light it, and then the next thing you do is for you to now take it and you use it. You need to burn this paper now. Now you can see I got this cup, so I'm going to burn it inside this cup. So the paper is here now. So that is it. To collect the ashes. So you can see it and collect the ashes. So it's burn. So you can off your yellow candle because but you have to use the yellow candle to do the burning so now off it so that's it so you collect the ashes this is the ashes and then you take the ashes you mix it with any white soap of your choice you mix these ashes the ashes there now it's very hot you can see this is the ashes very dear now so you mix these ashes with any white soap of your choice and then you chant the name Ariami, Salami, Yakasaniya, Alurami. You chant it again 99 times. And then you start using the soap to wash your head along with your face three times every week. Three times every week. You do it. And I can assure you that this is very powerful. Your third eyes will be opened, your vision with the enhanced and you begin to see into the spirit very clearly. I want you to give it a try. If you want you to give it a try and if you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe to my channel. See you some other time. Thank you.